To say that Kadri came into the NHL with a less than typical background would be an understatement, as he became just the fourth player of Lebanese descent to join the league, and the very first Muslim player to be drafted by the Toronto Maple Leafs, as he was taken seventh overall in the 2009 NHL entry draft. Nazim's grandfather, Nazim, whom he's named after, emigrated to Canada from Lebanon as an orphan, bringing Sam, Nazim's father, and two siblings. The family struggled as Sam's father was a janitor working to feed an eventual seven children. But that didn't stop his son Sam from falling in love with Canada's frozen sport. Therefore, years later, after having a son of his own, he wanted to give him all the opportunities that he never had, and did so by signing Nazim up for hockey at age four. Speaking of age four, Surprisingly, that wasn't the age Nazim's father wrote on his son's registration card as the future Leafs forward was given a subtle head start, as he took the assumed age of five years instead. I had Nazim skating at three, says Sam Kadri. A lot of it was, I was envious of my friends in high school. Hockey is a fabulous game. I wish I could play it, so that's why I got him started. He played house league at four. You're not supposed to play until you're five, but I fibbed and started him early. Regardless, I think we can all agree that, head start or not, Kadri was destined to become the amazingly skilled player that he is today. It's pretty typical to see NHL stars arriving to the rink in style with the latest muscle car, typically more in the Ferrari or Lamborghini category. But unlike most, Kadri has a more unique dream car in mind, a 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Some inspiration for the less than typical choice may be within the family tree. I haven't gotten one yet, it's still in the works, Kadri says. My dad has his 67 Stingray, and it's a standard as well, so it's pretty cool. I enjoy driving it when he lets me, you can get into cruising mode pretty easy. But a Corvette is something I'll look forward to in the future. Growing up in London, Ontario, approximately 120 miles from Toronto, Kadri, like his father, grew up actually supporting an NHL team that wasn't the Leafs, but rather one of their rivals, the Montreal Canadiens. I always grew up liking the underdog, Kadri says. That wasn't everyone's favorite. And where I grew up, everyone was Leafs fans. So I was a big Habs fan just because my dad was watching them. When John Tavares joined the Toronto Maple Leafs for the beginning of the 2018-19 season, it wasn't the first time he had played alongside Nazem Kadri, as the two were not only teammates with obvious chemistry on the ice, but also off of it, while playing in the OHL for the London Knights. We were roommates on the road, Kadri says. That was a pretty cool experience. We got to bond that way. There is no better way to bond with your teammates than being on the road and being in the same room with each other. I think that was pretty fun for me. I think we had a pretty good time. We were a bit young and immature back then, but Johnny's always been a pro, so it was nice to have that experience. And last July, Kadri was just as elated as the city of Toronto seemed at the news of the Islanders forward coming home, so much that he made sure the newest Leaf received a call from an old friend, congratulating him. I don't think I've ever seen him so excited. That got me excited, Kadri says after his phone call to Tavares. 